Hi everyone, in this video it's, uh, it's one to do on a rainy day. Uh, today is not a rainy day and it's actually bright sunshine outside, but I thought I'd come in and just show you uh, an interesting little thing to do uh, for smoke trails. Um, it's a creative thing, it's not something you're really going to be winning a portfolio with or anything like that, but it's a fun thing to do when you're really, really bored and you can get some really cool effects as well. Um, so I'll just show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so what I've got is I've got my camera with the 50mm lens um, on a tripod and it's facing against, well this was my TV. Uh, I've hold it, held it together with a black piece of cloth and a couple of shoes holding it in position. I've got my flash down here and a candle and I'm also using a kind of kebab skewer as my smoke trail maker. Uh, it kind of looks like it's on fire there. No, don't worry, flash is not on fire. Okay, so details on the camera. Let's have a little look at these. Okay, so I've got it on uh, 125th of a second, F13. And as you can see, it's saying it's a totally black image. If we were to take a photo like that with the flash, it's totally black. So you can't see anything. Uh, ISO is at its lowest and we should be shooting in RAW. I'll change that in a second as well. Uh, so, because the black thing is there, you get no exposure coming off of that. The flash is pointing straight up the way. And what we'll do is we'll light the stick thing and we'll have it just above the flash and the smoke will hopefully go just up the way and then we'll capture that with the onboard commander flash not affecting the exposure but it will uh, set off this flash which is at an eighth of a power. So this is at F13, as at an eighth of a power and it's flashing up the way. So let's see how this shoot goes. Okay, so no magic really needed for this. Just light. An incense stick would actually be pretty good as well. Uh, but here I don't have any incense in place, so I'm just finding a random piece of weed. You can probably do this with a twig outside. Uh, if you notice I'm slurring, it's because I'm slightly drunk as well. Uh, don't do this while you're drunk in your house. Okay, so look, that's giving off a bit of smoke, a bit of rubbish there. Let's just get this so it's a little bit more burning. So there it's properly burning. Get the camera ready. Now I've got this on live view, so it comes on. And then we get out. Lots of smoke there, brilliant. Take a load of photos like that. And then it kind of roughly goes out. So have a little check of your images, see if you think they're good. Maybe some of them might be too much smoke. Some of it might not be enough smoke, some of the smoke might not be lit well enough. But what I'm doing is I'm making sure that, which is a big pile of ash now, hold on. I'm making, ooh, lots of smoke, so probably going to set the alarm off here. Uh, I'm making sure that whenever it goes off, the smoke kind of goes straight up to the way. <laughs> Rubbish there. Um, and uh, I'm making sure that the smoke is right above the flash. So it's only lit by flash coming up the way, and I've got it zoomed in so it's not causing too much uh, kind of dispersing the flash anywhere, like over the, the black of the cloth there. But uh, yeah, lots of smoke coming even off the candle now as well. So here we go for another one, get that out. That's probably too much smoke. Okay, let's go see what these look like on the computer. Okay, so here's the shots that we got uh, from the smoke. So what I did is, first of all, I kind of focused roughly on where my hand was going to be and uh, then just kind of put the camera on manual focus so it didn't change at all. And uh, as you can see, some of the shots were pretty rubbish, I think is a fair way to explain it. There's nothing there. Uh, that was far too much smoke. Uh, that, that was a potential, a uh, potential shot there. But so you're probably looking at these thinking, don't these, these are not very interesting at all. Um, and you're right, on their own, they're not interesting. Like that one, ooh. Uh, uh, too much smoke there again. Mm, that one, maybe a little bit. Mm, ooh, that one could have been cool. That one's quite cool. So we've even got a little bit of a blue colour to it as well. Um, let's see my favourite. Okay, this one uh, looks like it's got the potential to be quite cool. Uh, what I might do is I might just transform, rotate counterclockwise and okay I think there's definitely something there. 
So uh, I've played around with the exposure just so that the whites are really white and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I could play around with the temp. Ooh, I could have blue or I could have uh, orangey. No, I think I think we'd go for a cold, scary blue or maybe some like electric purple or ooh, that's quite cool as well. Uh, again, lots of fun to ha be had uh, playing around with this kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to go with this kind of electric blue, and we're going to export it, export, and I'm going to put it into smoke trails. I'm not going to make it too big, 2000, yeah, that's fine. Um, and just go export, uh, use unique name. Okay, so then from there, what I'll do is I'll open up my uh, photo editing software called GIMP. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. There, there's not a huge amount to the shot, but what I'm going to do is I am going to, first of all, duplicate the image. So just by dragging that down to this, that means we've got two images which are exactly the same on top of each other. But on this top one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then go down to something which isn't there. Uh, no, it's not there. Uh, it's meant to be up here in the image transform. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, and we'll go for flip, uh, flip horizontally. So we've got it. So it's flipped like that. And uh, yeah, we'll see that we've got it there. And what we'll do is I'm going to just drag it over to the side, just over here. I'll then also go to go to image and then go to fit canvas to layers, so then that's it over there, uh, and mm, seem to have not flipped that properly. Let me just flip that again, so layer, transform, flip horizontally. There it is, okay, ah, okay, I want it to be over here. So again, layer, image, fit canvas to layers. Okay, aha, there it is. Okay, so, ooh, that seems to be pretty well done so far. And if I want to see what it's like, I can just go to a uh, new layer from Visible. There it is. And so that's me able to see exactly, it's like, ooh, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And straight away, you can see there's an evil face in the picture, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what I might do is on this image, which I've just made, I might go add a layer mask. No, 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 I won't add a layer mask. What I'll do is I'll add a new layer, uh, which just goes on top of it, and I'll fill it with red. Uh, go with OK, and uh, get the paint bucket, and just click on that. And all of a sudden, this will all become red. Da da. Computer's going very slow just now because I'm doing stuff with some Adobe something something. Um, okay, and that looks pretty rubbish, but what we can do is we can change the uh, blend mode. So it's like multiply, which is, whoa, that looks pretty nasty. Screen, that's also equally strange. Overlay, that's probably where it's one to go for. So now we've got this kind of red, nasty looking kind of shot here. Um, and what I might do is that I might just then add a, a, a layer mask so I can kind of control what's what. So if I were to use the big paintbrush, I might not use a paintbrush, I might use a spray can and uh, use a big brush here and size so I can effectively just spray over. Oh, I want to make this so that it is black. Okay, so if I spray over stuff, the blue will start coming through again. Oh, spray can's a bit pump. Let's see if we can use something a bit stronger. Uh, let's, let's just go with the paintbrush. Okay, and so with the uh, fuzzy brush now, if I paint over anything which is uh, meant to be red, uh, it will be taking effectively that red overlay that we've had, will be, it'll be taking it away, and the blue will be coming back from underneath. So we can just have a little play with that and see what we think works out pretty cool on this. Um, so here I kind of like the look, just in a little bit there, maybe a little bit of his horns there, and a little bit of his extra mouth bits there. I think that looks pretty mean and nasty. Uh, then I'm going to crop in, there's so many cool things to this actually. Uh, then I'm going to crop in using this tool, and I think we'll just go from 
no higher than here and down to his gob. So try and get it so it's roughly equal and I think that's it. Press turn and there, there we go. That's a pretty cool image there. Uh, let's see if we can view, uh, fill screen, view, zoom, fill window. Ah, too huge. But yeah, so that is the kind of scary looking thing which I've just created there. So that was just with a little bit of smoke dots thing. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers, have some fun. Go for it. Bye-bye.